Lisa here. I hope you're all well. It's a beautiful evening here in the UK. The sun's starting to go down, so hopefully the lighting will be okay. I have a massive unboxing for you of some Stitchy Kindness. Um, yeah, Stitchy Kindness on steroids, I think. Um, if you want to see what's inside this huge box, honestly, it's like Mary Poppins is Mary Poppins bag, um, then grab yourself a cuppa, get yourself some snacks, light a candle, relax, because you're gonna be here for quite a while when you see what's in this. So if you wanna see all of that, all of this good stitchy joy, then stay tuned and I'll see you in a minute. So I'll fill you in on a bit of the story relating to this. So a little while ago, um, one of my lovely floss tube friends who I've been in touch with now for, gosh, years I would say on, on YouTube, messaged me and said, you know, um, can I send you some, some things? And I'm like, well, sure. Um, yeah, of course. I mean, any that's the first stitch of kindness I've ever received, and of course, I'm I'm happy to receive it. Um, little did I know that a few things would be this huge box. So this lady is Maureen, who goes under the YouTube name of Cross Stitch Button, and she's she's a popular YouTuber. I'm sure many of you will know of her. So Maureen is opening her own shop. She's had. Um, an eBay shop for a while, but now she's actually opened an online store and she sent me some things um, that she's selling. She hasn't asked me to do this. Um, it's the only way really that I can say thank you to her for the sheer amount of stuff that she sent me. I'm, I, When I first opened the box, I was just absolutely overwhelmed at the amount of things that are in here. Um, but the first thing I received was this beautiful card and um, obviously I'm not going to read it to you because um, it's, a, it's a private message but it's a gorgeous card uh, with this beautiful blue tit on it. I think Maureen knows how much I love birds. You can probably hear mine going in the background. But I will link um, Maureen's online stores below for you so you can go and check her out because there is so much really, really good stuff. Um, that she's stocking on there and, and I know from my own personal perspective now that if I need something obviously I want to support one of our own first and foremost. Um, so Maureen's eBay, eBay store is button underscore 13 and her shop is sostitch.co.uk and obviously as I said I'll link that below so you'll be able to get yourself on that but there's the start anyway, so hang fire, I'm going to start digging through. I've just moved um, position, I think the sun going down is probably going to affect the lighting. If it if it does, I'll refilm, um, hopefully it will be okay. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to do this, I've been out today um, with my mum, so I just thought I'd take the opportunity to do this now. So I'm going to put this box on the floor and then start showing you some of the stuff. I will move to a different camera angle to show you some of the smaller pieces that are in here. But the first thing that I pulled out were stitching hoops. Um, <laughs> several stitching hoops of every size you could possibly need. So I have got loads of these really, really nice hoops. Um, apparently, um, what make of these? Oh gosh, I haven't got my glasses on, that was a mistake. They're, they're Gamma. I believe um, they're Russian. Now, a lot of the stuff that Maureen is stocking is from Russia and I, I, mean, I don't know a lot about Russian things, but what I do know from what I see, if it's good enough for the Russian stitchers, who by and large are phenomenal when it comes to needlework and cross stitch then this stuff will be really really good so there's a couple of different types of hoops I've not really had a chance to play with these yet but there's some with like a metal rim I mean the tension that these are going to produce will be amazing so it's just a case of squeezing this together and this metal ring pulls out uh, these are going to be great 
because um, the tension when you're not using um, like the hoops that I'm using, especially the ones on my El Bessie stand, they give decent tension, but they're not like drum tight. But I think I think they're going to produce drum tight um, tension. And then there's a couple of others where you sort of twist this little nut, and then the rings come out and push in. And again, because they're plastic, I think they'll have a little bit more grip than the wood, and they're nice and thin as well. So I think that's also going to lend itself to some really good tension but I will let you know how I get on with these because I'm working on my steam heart at the minute which is on the big scroll frames but as soon as Persephone comes back out I'll, I'll give these a go so I've got some hoops fabulous you can never have enough hoops and then I have got some patterns uh, some cross stitch charts um, they are Russian cross stitch charts um, this is absolutely stunning uh, that is just beautiful. I think from what I can see, because I've not gone into it yet, the threads are like tapestry threads. Um, I'll give you a little glimpse of the pattern. The pattern's full colour on the back, but that is the most stunning display. And I am, this is so me. Um, it's, it's amazing when somebody chooses something for you. I mean, Maureen has said, if, if there's anything you don't like, feel, feel free to pass it on. I'm just like, <laughs> there's nothing I don't like, it's just gorgeous. But that is absolutely amazing. So I love that and I can't wait to start that. That's just a perfect autumn piece for me. It's beautiful. And then I've got two really nice um, other cross-stitch designs. Again, Russian. Obviously, Maureen knows my passion for birds. Obviously, if you don't know, I have four love birds. Um, there's this little cutie which is like a Christmas piece so a little robin there he's just gorgeous he's getting stitched without a doubt so these kits come with everything in there Ada, the pattern, all the threads already sorted so he will be a beautiful stitch and obviously stitching related with all of the, the things inside and this little dude, another autumn piece, how gorgeous is this? Another little robin with the pumpkins and then again like a little bits and bobs box with um, you know some of the stitching notions in it but oh my god, just gorgeous. So I was over the moon with those. Um, I actually opened this with my mum, I'd popped to the post office to pick up the box, um, I was out when they delivered it and and I thought it was the box that Maureen had sent me and we opened it together and my mum couldn't believe what was in it either. Um, before I change the direction of the camera, there's some other bigger pieces in here, which again, I've just, honestly, I, you won't believe it either because I can't believe it. Um, you all know how much I love my El Bessie lap frame. Um, Maureen has also sent me um, the El Bessie like a tabletop stand as well. I've never stitched at a tabletop, but for me, moving positions and altering the way I sit will be really beneficial. Again, I've not taken this out of the box, but I will set it up and I will come back at some point and do more in-depth reviews of these stands. I know people are always looking for um, a stand or a frame that you know will provide everything that they need for stitching. So I am very, very keen to start this. And again, as I said, when Persephone comes out, I'll give her a go on that and we can see how that works. I'm still not done with this. This, I was just gobsmacked by, look at this, it's another Russian um, lap frame. This one is a bit different, it's like got two paddles to sit on, uh, which I think will be incredibly comfortable. What I do find with the El Bessie sometimes, and it's not always, it can usually depend on what chair I'm sitting on, because I took it usually under my right thigh, um, the stitching will lean a little bit to the right because obviously I'm putting weight on um, the paddle that I sit on. But this has got the double paddle. 
it's got two options for fixing with. You can either use the attachment up at the top here and use either a Q-snap or a hoop to attach or you can use like the little, I'm trying to think what you would call these, like extension arms. So you can actually sit a Q-snap on this as well. Now, I've not used my Q-snaps in a long time because I've been using the Albessi frame because I like the fact you can use it on your knee. I do miss the tension of a Q-snap versus the hoop of the Albessi, which is good, as I said, but you know it's not drum tight, but you can achieve a better tension on the... Um, on the Q-snap so I'm really keen again to try the frame as it is with these little extension bars on and be able to sit a Q-snap on it while I'm working that is just amazing isn't it again another beautiful Russian stand and I'm still not done with the stands again honestly so this one is another let me just zoom that in. It's like another tabletop connector stand. So you can either, by the look of this, put a hoop in or you can put a Q-snap on that and a clamp it to the table um, or whatever surface you're sitting at. And you know, this will open up for me different, as I said, different areas of seating. But yeah, that is again, absolutely amazing. So, I mean, <laughs> when are you done but they're the big thing so I'm going to move position now and change the camera angle because I'll be able to show you some of the, the smaller pieces a little bit better but isn't this amazing I hope you're enjoying it <laughs> I'll catch you in a bit I'm just going to move the angle see you in a moment okay so the next thing I pulled out of my box of tricks were these um fabric dies so in here I've got a black I've got a royal blue and a teal and then I've also got some of this um, I believe it's a lilac colour as well um, slightly different formulation in that this is liquid and what's in here are like a sachet I've never hand dyed my own fabric but now I'm really quite keen to have a go at doing that actually so I'll be able to see if I can hand dye some fabric there's also a rust remover in here as well which um, if any of you remember, oh gosh, I uploaded this a couple of years ago, I did like um, an unboxing of loads of stash that I'd had from years ago and in there was my Winter Queen, a Mirabilia, that's not far off being finished but stupidly I'd left my needle in and it had uh, rusted all over the work so I'm thinking that I might give that rust remover a go and, and see if I can get that um, done. So, and I've also got some just plain white um, Monaco fabric as well that I'll be able to have a go hand dyeing with. So you may see some of that coming up in the future. And next up, we've got a couple of different types of thread sorters. Look at that little cute cat in there. Um, so this, this one's like a palette. It's stunning. And then it comes with the little like labels so you can label up your dmc thread but isn't that absolutely beautiful um some of the smaller designs the ones here that maureen have sent me i think i'll probably be able to use these and then you've got like another thread sorter here this is like a foam one so again you'll be able to get lots of different threads on there and then it's got like the little label so you can put your symbols on it as well i've also noticed but obviously i've been on maureen's website and um, she also sells a pack of thread organizers which i have a few of those and i've used them in the past and i found them incredibly useful um, so maureen also stocks those at a good price as well but those are really really handy and will come in very very useful <laughs> and we have this packet of joy here with all sorts of stuff in it so i'm going to tip it all out and then come back and show you individually what's in here because there's just so much in the way of different types of stuff honestly i'll i'll never need to do a haul for a long time so we've got some prim stuff i have never had one of these but i've always wanted one you know you think i must get myself a needle case so we've got one here um, from prim which is like the magnetic one and it just stores all your needles and then I believe you twist the bottom and your needles sort of pop up out of the top when you remove it from the canister. So it's like a, like a lipstick, lip seal type 
container so they I know they're really really useful I've got um, a seam ripper which will be good it's a small one so obviously when you are removing stitches I tend to pick with my needle um, shouldn't do because obviously then my needles bend but this is going to be so so helpful so I'm going to have this sitting around um, with all of my stitchy tools and then there's some dressmakers wax as well so this is an alternative to the, um, what do you call it? Oh, what's the word for it? Thread Heaven. I've tried Thread Heaven before and, and could never get away with it. I started Thread Heaven on my um, Steam Heart Heaven and Earth design a couple of years ago. And what I found is it's discoloured the thread. And it's probably because it's been made a little bit more static, attracted more dust to it, potentially. But I'm going to give that a go and see how that fares. Um, I know I don't like thread he heaven, so it'll be interesting to see if I can get away with this stuff and if it works better. But I will let you know about that. Right, so now I'm just going to start pulling random things out of the bag. I've got some absolutely gorgeous embroidery scissors. I don't know whether or not you, if you can see that, uh, so nice, it's like, um, I think it's like a stalk, it's a bird. How beautiful are those? I must admit, these are really timely because the embroidery scissors that I'm currently using, I've noticed that they're starting to get a bit blunt. I've had them for, I don't know, maybe two or three years now. The the decent scissors, but really looking forward to trying these. I'll let you know how I get on with those. Um, I have this absolutely beautiful bead sorter um, I don't know if you can see that all the different engravings it's made out of wood have got different um, storage areas for, for when you're beading and obviously for those that know me fairly well I do do um, I make jewellery as well so this is going to be incredibly useful for that again another Russian piece but you know again absolutely stunning and it does have like a little plastic lid as I can see here it's got like a plastic top on it so obviously everything's not going to go flying um, as, as you're working but gorgeous really loving that digging in here look at this <laughs> it's a little pin cushion um, so it's a little a little chicken uh, pin cushion how stunning is that and that will actually just stand he's got beads or she's got sort of um, beads in the bottom so the the actual pin cushions weighted and it will just sit but uh, it's just beautiful um, I absolutely love that that's one of the um, first things I saw as I opened the box or this bag of, of tricks um, yeah just beautiful isn't it and then we have a little pack here so there is a ground guard in here and then we've got a couple of little bits and pieces. Let me open this for you. So a really nice ground guard. I think that will fit my um, 8x8 frame. It will certainly fit my the hoop that I'm working my mirror on at the moment. It's really nice. And a pattern on it. Oh, is that a little squirrel? Oh, it's like a woodland, woodland theme, but that's really nice. And then in here, look at this, this is really nice. So you've got a little packet. Um, you've got a scissor fob, again with these lovely birds on there. I don't know whether or not you're going to be able to see those, but they're like my little love birds. They're so nice. Um, so I'm going to obviously attach this um, gorgeous thing to my um, scissors that I've got really really pretty needle minder here with a, a nice rose button on the back which is gorgeous um, again a really pretty bird and then a nicely beaded oh, again with this cute bird on that's um, a, a threader a needle threader so they're for, <laughs> really useful it might stop me licking my floss mightn't it so we'll see but that's a nice set to get a grime guard and then you know, if you've, I think this would make a beautiful gift if you know a stitcher and you don't quite know what to get them. I think something like this with the grime guard that all comes together would be a really, really nice present to give a stitcher. So yeah, if you have, or you're thinking of buying gifts for somebody like that, then check those out because they're great. 
This is um, a little kit for making, um, it's like a, it's, it's all beaded and you, you kind of attach the beads on and it'll make this really cute frog. Um, I'm trying to think what you call them, let me open it up. You can see exactly what's in here. Oh, a little bit of Nymo thread. All the different types of beads. Now that's a nice thing. And then you obviously, I don't know, maybe stitch them. I think you stitch the beads onto it. I don't know. I'm going to have to go away and have a bit of a play with this and see how that works. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it tells you how to stitch your your beads on, kind of a loop method. So I don't know whether this opens up. Let's let's see. Oh yeah, we're opening. It's like a little picture frame, isn't it? Oh look, it's like yes, it is. It's like a canvas. So you take the back off, and then you stitch the beads onto it. How gorgeous is that for a gift? Stitchers again would love that. It's really, really lovely. Um, so that will go up in my craft room on my desk but yeah and then apparently you can hang it you can hang it up yeah I'm going to have to play around with how that works I will let you know there are some like metal bits inside there so I'm sure this will all become incredibly um, obvious when I actually get round to doing that so that's lovely and then <laughs> last but not least I have got some needles. A girl can never have enough needles. So I've got some um, size 10 and 13 beading needles, which obviously, as I work on my Chatelaine, are absolutely invaluable. So they are awesome. I have got a pack of needles here. So these are Russian gamma needles. So the size 28. So again, absolutely perfect for my uh, steam hacks. I'm using 28 needles on my one over one on 25 count and I've just bent my last um, bowing needle. I don't know what it is about bowing needles and me bending them. Are they like extra soft? Please let me know in the comments box below if you think that they're extra soft or whether or not I got a bad batch. I don't know but they just seem to bend on me like crazy. They are beautiful um, but yeah they're really bendy and then finally look at this a trolley needle. So you put it on your finger and it works. I'll have to, I've never used one before and I've always endeavoured, I don't know whether or not you can see that properly, the spike on it. I've always been trying to work out how to get the neatest stitches. I obviously railroad my stitches, I've done uploads on that. I found the John James dual ended needles and then obviously I've never used a laying tool or anything like that before. And this works on the same principle of, as a laying tool where you catch it underneath your over stitch on the cross stitch and it just separates the, um, the threads out if you're stitching two over two or two over one or whatever you're doing. Um, and it just gets the thread to lay better or you can have your finger down. It, it's however you want to wear um, the, the trolley needle really but yeah how, how useful is that so I'll have a go with this and I'll let you know how I got on with them um, again this would be like a first experience for me as to how those work but they come comes in a really really pretty pretty box it looks like somebody's painted on it it's gorgeous there you go Hey, I'm back again so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed opening it and seeing all of the goodies that are in it. Daisy's come to say hi. Daisy had a bath today. Daisy smells nice, don't you, for once. Mm, Daisy does smell good. Are you going? Where are you going? Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought I would share all of that with you. Uh, as I said, the links to Maureen's online shops are below. Please go and show her some love. Um, obviously, stitch your love and support for a fellow stitcher who's kind of going out there and and doing something a little bit different you know hats off I really you know commend anybody who goes off and starts up a business 
um, and obviously it's stitching related so why wouldn't you want to go and check it out um, but please do as I said the links to her shop are below and um, yeah I'm gonna dive into all of this good stuff I will come back and do um, a review of the bits and bobs that I use and particularly the stand you know this girl loves a stand and a frame to stitch with um, the you know I'm always constantly striving to find you know the absolute uh, you know, pinnacle of, of what's, what works really well and what's good. So I will share all of those findings with you. I'll let you know how we're getting with the hoops and, and no doubt the rest of the stuff as we go. So, um, yes, well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will catch you at the end of the week for my April Stitchy update. I'll catch you soon. Take care. Bye.